Hey friends, John from Discover RC. Thanks for joining me. Here I have the Tuner QX basswood frame I built a while ago, and I was going to do a build video on it for you guys, but there wasn't quite enough interest in it, so I kind of put it off. But since then, a few people have asked about it, so I decided instead of doing a whole build video, I would just do a build guide and basically show you guys how to put it together, the materials, the measurements, all that sort of stuff. It's very simple, very easy, and it gives you a nice, lightweight, fairly rigid frame for the Tuner QX, which is good for FPV, and that's what I like about it. And by the way, you don't have to painted all these funky colors. This was done by my daughter. She trimmed it out. You could just paint the whole thing black or leave it wood or whatever you want, but you don't have to do this obviously, but I like it. It's kind of different. So let's get into the materials for the quadcopter. It's made out of basswood. The main center part of the frame and the arms are one inch wide by three sixteenths inch thick basswood. So you need some strips of this. And then to mount the electronics and this little support brace right here, quarter inch square stock. So this is just quarter inch square stock, you need a little bit of that. That's the main materials for it. And I'll get into the measurements of the whole thing. And what I'll do is I'll put them in the description too. So you don't have to come back to the video to find the measurements. I'll put all the measurements in the description so you know how to do it. And you can just reference that when you want to put one of these together. So the main part of the frame is 145 millimeters in length. And I don't have a table saw, guys. So I'm just using this miter box. And you can pick this up in a hobby store or a craft store like Michael's. And that's what I'm using to cut the pieces. So I'm kind of doing it old school. But if you have a table saw, you can make much faster work of this. So 145 millimeters in length for this. And then you want to mount your electronics on this little rail in the center of the main frame. And the outer distance of this square stock to the outer distance here is 30 millimeters. And you see this plastic piece here is from the original stock frame. And I just transported everything, the electronics, the receiver, and the flight controller onto the wood while it was attached to this. So this is attached to the mainframe in four points, this plastic piece. So you just cut them out of the mainframe and then you can just stick it right onto these uh, square stock and you don't have to do any other work to get your electronics mounted to the frame. So very simple, very easy. And as far as getting into the center, just measure it into the center or you can mount the whole thing and just kind of eyeball it, but you want it basically to be in the center of the mainframe. The arms are pretty easy to do now. They are angled. There you can see there's a little bit of an angle to them. You could just make it an H frame if you want to be simple, but I kind of want to make it look more like one of those quadcopter frames with the angle. So to do that, you know, you have the miter box, the 45 degree angle is too much. So to get that softer angle, you just take the wood and you just tilt it like that and then cut it. So it's just tilted in there, cut it, and then cut it to length here and you have your arm. Pretty simple to do. And the arms, are 95 millimeters in length on the longer side. So from the longer end of the arm to the tip, 95 millimeters. So that's how you want to measure your arm and cut it. And then to glue them, I basically took the arms, put them together, put them on a flat table on top of some wax paper, and then glued them together. And then I glued the whole thing to the main part of the frame. So you don't have, you want to take it and try and fit it all together, three different pieces gluing together. It's much easier just to glue the arms together separately and then to glue them here. All right guys, when you place your arms onto the frame, you wanna have enough room to fit your battery in here. And 83 millimeters from the tip here to the tip here. And you can see there's a little bit of leftover main frame on each side, that's no big deal. But 83 millimeters from here to here will get you plenty of room to put your battery in. It could be a little less or a little more, a couple millimeters doesn't make any big difference, but that's basically where you wanna have it. All right, so let's talk about the motor mounting hole right here. 15 millimeters from the tip of the arm to the center of the motor mounting hole, 15 millimeters. And then you want to have it centered, obviously front to back. And the way I do this, I mark it, you know, that 15 millimeters, I mark it with a pencil. And then I basically just drill a little pilot hole and I'm doing it with a handheld drill. So if you have a drill press, you can make much faster work with this, but I have a little handheld drill. So drill the pilot hole through there and then just gradually upsize it bigger and bigger till you get to a quarter inch drill bit. And that's the last one you're going to put through there, a quarter inch drill bit. And then if the motor doesn't quite fit through there, take a body reamer and just gently widen it out because you don't want this hole to be so big that the motor is loose and wobbles around. You want it to be a pretty tight fit so that it doesn't move when you fly. So once you get that just big enough, I put some CA around the hole just to harden the wood and then put the motor on. So with this step, be slow doing it because if you rush it, you drill too big a hole, try too fast, you could fracture the wood. So you want to be careful doing it. You want to take your time with that. I have a little bit of Velcro right here that mounts the FPV battery. Once you have the FPV gear on it 
and the Velcro strap to hold the battery runs through here. You have a little hook and loop Velcro that can go right through there and hold the battery in place. You're not just hanging on just with one Velcro strip like that. All right, guys, so once you have that motor hole there, you're basically done. Put your motor on, use some zip ties to hold the wires down. You've got your receiver flight controller ESC centered here, and then you put your FPV gear on, and that's basically it. You're good to go. Before you put all that stuff on, if you want to paint it, paint it. Um, you don't want to paint it, obviously, after all that stuff is put on there. But that's about it. So just in summary, real quick, main piece here, 145 millimeters. Outer to outer measurement on here for the uh, square stock mounting the flight controller, 30 millimeters. Or you can just put it together beforehand and then just glue the whole thing down, eyeballing it. That will probably work just fine. Then you have your arms and the long side is 95 millimeters. Your motor will be placed 15 millimeters, motor hole 15 millimeters from the outer edge. Your cross brace here is 65 millimeters. And the distance between the arms to place your battery, roughly 83 millimeters. But you can measure it, you can figure out what you wanna do there. So that's it. Again, any questions or comments, please post them below guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful and I will see you next time.